did Google Stadia fail to meet the hype? So I was kind of saw this before, and I, that's when I got the idea. I wanted to react to this one, even though we're already an hour and a half in. Google Stadia was launched in November 2019, and it's a cloud gaming service developed by Google. There are I'm gonna allow this. There are several ways to access Google Stadia, including the Stadia mobile app, Google Chrome web browser, Chromecast, Ultra, and Android TV devices. Google Stadia can stream games up to 60 frames per second. Blah blah blah. I know this. A report by Bloomberg in 2021 showed how Google Stadia did not meet sales expectations, and that is for both subscriptions to the gaming service and controller. Uh, it got to the point where Google were giving away controllers for free. Ah, oh, that's messed up. <laughs> that's so messed up. It got to the point where Google Google were Google were giving. That doesn't make sense. Grammatica. Google was giving away controllers for free to try and tempt people to subscribe to. I guess I don't know. They were giving they were giving them free to buy games twenty nine ninety nine or more. But whatever. Um, you do not see Microsoft and Sony giving away controllers for free in an attempt to persuade. Oh, wow, that's this guy is sassy. Guy, girl, who wrote this? Sony T. Sony sassy. Uh, let's see. You do not see Microsoft and Sony giving away controllers for free in an attempt to persuade people to buy the Xbox or PlayStation. Uh, they do. The, it, it comes with a free controller. What? The simple fact Google were prepared to give away controllers for free tells you everything you need to know about where Google Stadia was at its and in early 2021. Bet money this guy never played Google Stadia. Some onlookers believe Google released Stadia before it was ready. By releasing a gaming product too soon, it was always going to struggle to compete with the likes of Xbox and PlayStation. And so it, pr it proved, so it proved, he can't even write. Uh, did it get translated? uh tech expert tech techie expert bro techie expert man you need some grammarly or something <laughs> now i'm being sassy <laughs> bro this is oh man how you went in negative right off the bat uh they're not google's not trying to compete with xbox and playstation xbox was trying to compete with playstation they never gave controllers for free. I mean, they had deals, but yeah, you buy the cheapest the controller was was twenty two twenty two for the anniversary. Before that, you have to buy the game, and then so you can say the game was discounted, and then that 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 way, you know, the rest of the price. Uh, anyways, uh, th that's what I would say if I was looking at this guy in the face. Moving to February 2022, and things did not improve for Google Stadia. When launching the product, Google highlighted how the company would use its cloud expertise to offer a fantastic gaming service to customers. Google does, does have servers all over the world, and that means Stadia should be available in many countries. However, as of February 22, tw February 22 Google Stadia was only available in 22 countries, which is a small number compared to the figures discussed. So first, he criticized them for launching too soon, and immediately, the, what a paragraph later, criticizes them for not launching wide enough. Yeah, anyways. Uh, figures discussed during the launch of the product. Indeed, Google CEO Sundar Pichai, when making the opening statements about the launch of Google Stadia, said, our custom server hardware and data centers can bring more computing power to more people on planet Earth uh, than anyone else. Today, we are in 19 regions and in over 200 countries and territories connected by hundreds of thousands of miles of fiber optic cables. So as things stand, Google Stadia is operating in just over 10% of the countries in which Google operates, which is disappointing. Oh, that's his, that's his argument, right? You're, he's, it irks me. I can't really say that because I kind of contradict myself a lot too. But yeah, he just contradicted himself. But it's okay. Let's, let's keep going. Taking Xbox Cloud Gaming and as, as an example, it was still in the beta stage in February, but was available in 26 countries. NVIDIA's GeForce now wait it's taking xbox gaming as an example it was still in the beta stage in february but was available in 
Okay, so that was Google's mistake. They didn't call it a beta, but whatever. NVIDIA's GeForce Now is available in over 80 countries, and PlayStation Now, which is the weakest of the Google Stadia competitors, is available in at least 19 countries. They're the weak because of technology, not because of distribution. At the time of launch, Google Stadia did not have much to offer in terms of games. There are now over 200 titles available in Google Stadia Store, but a lot of money has been invested to bring third-party games to Google Stadia. With Red Dead Redemption 2 being a, Google, a good example, it was reported Google paid millions of dollars to secure Red Dead Redemption 2 for Stadia, perhaps offering the chance to play casino games would have helped to attract new customers. Oh. Uh, I haven't played Red Dead enough to uh, to get that reference. Many of the leading online casinos have a huge range of casino games, and some of these could have been added into an adult section. What? That's weird. Exclusive games have been launched on Google Stadia, such as Guild, which has proved popular with some gamers. However, a lack of support and weak lineup of exclusive games is one of the reasons why Google Stadia has not hit the heights we were all expecting. Well, I guess he says we were all expecting. So maybe he, this guy is just disappointed that um, it's not moving fast enough. Maybe Google will continue to support Google's data and there is belief it will come good. It will come good. Okay. However, it is fair to say that it did not meet the hype upon release. You're right. I mean, the, it's a weird way to put it, but yeah, I guess he's right. You need Grammarly for sure. 